welcome to MMA UK. I'm Danny Brough. We're down at Women's Show Forum. We're at Vida Fighting Championship. I'm just here with Kaz. Talk us through the fight, mate. Oh, wow, well. It's been a couple of rough couple of couple of weeks, actually, because uh, 14 days out from the fight, I got COVID. So, um, like, 10 days in, I came back on Mon on Wednesday. I tried to go to the gym. My coaches were like, go home, mate. So, for the last 14 days, I've not done any exercise. Nothing like that. I got in there and just let it all go on, yeah? Do you think it might have done you a favour having two weeks layoff because sometimes that can maybe help your body a little bit. I, I hope so. I would well actually I hope not because I hope next time I'm I've when I've got a full camp and I'm there properly, I hope I um I can put my foot on the gas a little bit more. But it, it might have done. I wouldn't know because I've never done it before. So yeah, I wouldn't I know. Think the fight went for you. I know you got the win, but talk us through it. Like how do you think it went? Yeah, I think it went. I think it went as planned. I wanted to um yeah, I wanted to put my foot down in the first. And um, just like cement him knowing that like, how the fight's gonna go, everyone knowing how the fight's gonna go, and yeah, I did that. And I wish it could have went better round two and three, but I got the victory, and I'm looking all right. And he's looking blooded. So were you confident we were gonna raise your hand at the end? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Just like he didn't do anything really. Yeah, he couldn't really do anything to me. It's the only problem I had in there was myself. That's what it felt like. So next time when I'm hundred percent ready. No, no questions in mind. How have you been finding training at Manchester Top Team? Amazing. I wish I could have done it like years ago. If not like five years ago, I wish I could have done it 15 years ago. I, I just love it. Like literally gives me energy every day. I work 70 hours a week. Still manage to have four hours worth of energy on the days off to go to Top Team. So yeah, everyone who's thinking about doing something like this, do it. The faster you do it, the better, 100%. What got you into MMA? <sighs> Watching... Watching mixed martial arts, probably TV, Conor McGregor, you know the usual, and then I probably got into it about like when Conor McGregor was fighting Chad Mendes. Since then, just not even Conor McGregor, just everything. I've just loved it. Like I've always wanted to get into it, and then lockdown. That's why we got into it. Lockdown happened, and I was like, I'm not gonna do any if buts or maybe's anymore. I'm just gonna do it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not 35, 40, thinking what if could have happened if I would have tried it, yeah. That's brilliant, mate. So, what do you think's next now? Do you think you're gonna maybe look at doing an amateur fight, or maybe just ask the coaches first? Hundred percent amateur fight. Not maybe not for another six to eight months. Get back into the gym because there's a lot of things I need to um, improve on. Of course, um, I need to improve on a lot. So, get into the gym, get training, keep training. It's a lifestyle. It's not just like I'm not doing it just for this fight, just for the couch cage. It's gonna be a lifestyle now, like. Healthy eating, healthy living, good for the mental, good for the physical. Yeah. Brilliant, mate. Great speaking to you. Well Brilliant. done. Go and enjoy the rest of your night, mate. Go and watch the rest of the fights. Appreciate Take that. Take it easy. Cheers.